Hello and welcome to the Live Joe Friday Pub Quiz. I'm Ollie Dugmore and I'm down my local having a sneaky drink. Don't tell the coppers. Actually, I'm in the great outdoors. Exercising, uh, exercising, I mean I'm exercising. Maybe I'm in outer space without any kind of protective equipment at all. And I'm expecting my head to explode any moment now. No? Okay then. I'm actually here in my house, which hopefully is where all of you are too. Not my house, your house. Stay at your own house. Don't come round to my house. Anyway, the pub quiz is back. And I'm delighted to say that our friends at Beer 52 are with us again. If you don't know Beer 52, they are the UK's most popular craft beer discovery club. You get a case of eight craft beers sent to your door every week. Here's a case they sent me. Let's have a look at what's inside. Oatmeal Stout from the Four Pure Brewing Company. I'll be tucking into that later. Woo, cloudy boy. Tempest Brewing Company, Vermont Sessions. A nebula, hazy IPA with fruit aromas. Drink today. Well, I might. Snacks, salt and vinegar flavored, my favorite. For you lucky quizzers, Beer 52 are offering you a free crate of beer delivered to your door. All you have to do is go to beer52.com forward slash Joe. The address should be down there. Now, pay four pounds 95 in postage and the beer is yours. And if you don't want to carry on with the subscription, you can cancel it hassle-free anytime. Right then. The quiz. We've got six rounds of five questions and of course the all-important bonus question at the end. If you want to play along, and why wouldn't you, now is the time to grab a pen and paper. In the meantime, here's some people being left bitterly disappointed after they let the crew of changing rooms ruin their homes. It is absolute crap and the sooner we get it out, the better. Okay. Now I don't, I don't like the floor, honest. I think it's absolute crap. <laughs> Very boring. It's really cold. What have you done? What have it's I done? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, it's horrible. I can't stand it. Good lord. Good grief. Open your eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, there's some people who could definitely do with a beer. If any of you are watching, get yourselves to beer52.com forward slash Joe and a free case of beer is yours. Okay, it's quiz time. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard favored rage, or put more simply, good luck and enjoy the quiz. Now, I'm gonna head off to, oh dear. Well, I'll see all you cool cats and kittens later. Hopefully. Hello. This is a test called Celebrity Split. We are going to show you a face made up of three other famous faces. We want you to guess who each of the famous faces are. You can have a point for each celebrity you currently identify. Let's look at an example. Who can you see here? The answers are Leonardo DiCaprio, Donald Trump, and Kanye West. Ready? Let's begin. Question one. Who can you see in this picture? Question two, who can you see in this picture? Question three, who can you see in this picture?
question 4. Who can you see in this picture? Question 5. Who can you see in this picture? We will now recap the questions. Please pay attention. Question 1. Who can you see in this picture? Question 2. Who can you see in this picture? Question 3. Who can you see in this picture? Question 4. Who can you see in this picture? Question 5. Who can you see in this picture? The test is now over. The results will follow. Question 1. The correct answers were Barack Obama, Owen Wilson, Simon Cowell. Question 2. The correct answers were Victoria Beckham, Oprah Winfrey, Angelina Jolie. Question 3. The correct answers are 50 Cent, Tom Cruise, Snoop Dogg. Question 4. The correct answers were Adele, Meryl Streep, Carrie Fisher. Question 5. The correct answers were Bono, William Defoe, Will Smith. Thank you for participating in this test. The next test will follow shortly. Thank you. We're all stuck inside at the moment. And if you're anything like me, you've probably been watching loads of old nostalgic TV in order to take your mind off things. So, with that in mind, I'm going to show you the opening credits of five classic TV shows. And you just need to tell me what those TV shows are. And I know what you're thinking. That's too easy. You're just going to show me the opening credits? I'm going to know what the show is. Well, we're going to mess with them with loads of crazy visual effects, just to make it that bit harder. Are you ready? Number one. What TV show is this? Stick a pony in my pocket I'll fetch the suitcase from the van Cause if you are the best But you don't ask questions Then brother, I'm your man Cause where it all comes from Is a mystery It's like the changing of the season Question two. What TV show am I watching now? Question 3. What TV show is this banger of a theme tune from? Question 4. What TV show am I watching this time? I'm 
over the hill Now that I have returned Fading away But I'm not yet expired Clapped out, run down To all the sun And question five Which TV show is this? Okay, if you missed any of those, here's a recap. Stick a bunny in me pocket. I'll fetch the suitcase from the back. They say I might as well face the truth. But I am just too long in the two. Ready for the answers? Here we go. Question one was only fools and horses. Take a pony in me pocket. I'll fetch the suitcase from the van. Cause if you Question two was Hollyoaks. Question three was King of the Hill. Question four was one foot in the grave. They say I'm not as well as the truth, but I'm just too long in the tooth, so I don't know why you think it would be. And question five was last of the summer wine. How did you do? If you got less than four, you're probably not watching enough TV. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with round three. When I say pub, 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 you say quick. 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 Pub quiz. Pub quiz. When I say pub, you say quick. Pub quiz. Pub quiz. When I say pub, you say quick. Pub quiz. Pub quiz. When I say pub, you say quick. Pub quiz. Pub quiz. The world is a scary place right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic, the economy is in free fall, and the chocolate biscuit selection in the shop is terrifyingly low. But where there is life, there is beauty. And there remains beauty everywhere. From a thriving plant, to a bowl of cereal, to a well-arranged fridge, and of course, art. Round number three this week is famous works of art. I'm going to recreate some of the most famous paintings of all time, and you must tell me what they are. What painting is this? What painting is this?
What painting is this? And what painting is this? What painting is this? Now we've seen all those, let's have a little recap. Question 1. Which painting was this? Question 2. Which painting was this? Question 3. Which painting was this? Question 4. Which painting was this? And finally, question 5. Which painting was this? Now here are the answers. The answer for question 1 was The Scream by Edvard Munch. The answer for question two was, of course, Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. The answer for question three, Girl with a Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer. The answer for question four was, American Gothic by Grant Wood. And finally, the answer for question five was, The Son of Man by René Magritte. And then we move on to round four. Round four is Comedy Sketches. My name's Joe Gilmore, and I've roped in fellow Scouse influencer, Beard the Genius. We're going to perform five comedy sketches, and you've got to guess which show it's from. Ready, Noz? <sighs> Let's go. Question one. Which show is this sketch from? Noz, I've muted your mic. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go on. Four candles. Four candles? Four candles. All right, one sec. There you go, mate. Four candles. No. Four candles. Well, there you are. Four candles. No. Fork andles. Andles for forks. <sighs> Question two. What show is this sketch from? I wish to complain about this parrot what I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh yes, the Norwegian Blue. What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. He's dead. That's what's wrong with it. No, no. Er, uh, he's resting. Look, matey, I know a dead parrot when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. Question three. Which show is this sketch from? Easy now, fuzzy little man peach. Do you ever drunk Baileys from a show? What? Do you want to come to a club where people will be on each other? No. I'm going to hurt you. Excuse me? What do you think of me? I don't really know, sir. Make an assessment. I think you're a nice modern gentleman. Don't lie to me, boy. Question four. What show is this sketch from? Hello, Dave. Noz, do the voice. I'm not doing the voice. Do the voice, Noz. <laughs> Hello, Dave. I'm sorry. Is that Dave? Oh, no, I think he's in the wrong house. Okay. Is Dave there? No, there's no one called Dave here. Okay. Question five. What show is this sketch from? Okay, let's try and focus on the car. What are some ways we can make it family friendly? No, it's based for the mother-in-law. That's not helpful. Shut up, Paul. You probably love your mother-in-law. I actually do. 
Oh my god! He admitted it! That was funny. Yeah, hilarious. Just in case you missed any, here's a recap of the questions. Four candles. Four candles? Four candles. All right, one sec. There you go, mate. Four candles. No. Four candles. I wish to complain about this parrot, what I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh, yes. The Norwegian blue. What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. He's dead. Easy now, fuzzy little man, Peach. You ever drunk Baileys from a show? What? Do you want to come to a club where people will be on each other? No. I'm going to hurt you. Hello, Dave. I'm sorry. Is that Dave? Oh, no. I think you've got the wrong house. Okay. Is Dave there? No, it's space for the mother-in-law. That's not helpful. Shut up, Paul. You probably love your mother-in-law. I actually do. Oh, my God. He admitted it. Time for the answers. The answer for question one was the two Ronnies. Four candles. No, four candles. Well, there you go, four candles. No, four candles. <laughs> candles for forks. <laughs> The answer for question two was Monty Python. Did I wish to complain about this parrot? What I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh yes, sir, the Norwegian blue. What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. It's dead. The answer for question three was the mighty Boosh. You have a drunk Baileys from a shoe? <laughs> what? Do you want to come to a club where people wear on each other? No. I'm going to hurt you. The answer for question four was the League of Gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Dave. I'm sorry. Is that Dave? Oh, no, I think you've got the wrong house. And finally, the answer to question five was I think you should leave. You probably love your mother-in-law. I actually do. Oh, my God. He admitted it. Right, that's round four finished. We're going to take a quick break, then it's on to round five. Think of a number between one and 10. Okay, now double it. Add five and another five. Then divide by two. Add eight and multiply by three. Are you thinking of the number 52? Well, it doesn't really matter because this week's quiz isn't brought to you by beer whatever number's in your head. It's brought to you by Beer 52. If you don't know Beer 52, they are the UK's most popular craft beer discovery club and they're offering you the chance to get free beers delivered straight to your door. Oh, that's interesting. Just go to beer52.com forward slash Joe and pay 4 95 postage, and the beer is yours. What's more, you can cancel any time. No questions asked. Actually, here's a question for you. What comes after round number four? You guessed it, away with the quiz. 996, 997, 998, 999, 1000. Oh, hello. Round five this week is sport in numbers. In this round, every question relates to a significant number in sport. For example, how many years has it been since Liverpool last won the league? I don't know, but you're gonna have to add one more onto it. Let's just take a moment for the Liverpool fans to calm down. And let's begin. Question number one, in snooker, why is the number 147 significant? Question number two. In darts, if you hit a bullseye, how many points do you get? There's only one word for that. Magic darts. Question three. How many runs does a batsman score in cricket for hitting the ball beyond the boundary without it bouncing? Question number four. In basketball, how many points is a basket worth when it's scored from beyond this line? And 
finally, question number five. In rugby union, how many points is a drop goal worth? Now we're going to do a quick recap and then it's time for the answers. Question number one was why is the number 147 significant in snooker? In darts, if you hit a bullseye, how many points do you get? Question three was how many runs does a batsman score in cricket for hitting the ball beyond the boundary without it bouncing? Question number four was how many points is a basket worth in basketball when it's scored from beyond this line? Question number five was in rugby union, how many points is a drop goal worth? And now, here come the answers. The answer to question number one was that 147 is the maximum break. The answer to question two was 50 points. The answer to question three was six runs. The answer to question four was three points. And the answer to question five was again, three points. That's all for round five. Round six is coming up next. Oh, hello there, and welcome to round number six. Now, I don't know about you, but since we've all been in isolation, my screen time has shot through the roof. I feel like I've seen more apps than human faces. Now, with that in mind, how well do you know your apps? This week's round six is app logos. I'm gonna show you five different logos, and you're gonna tell me what apps they represent. Let's try a test round. Which app is this? That's obviously Tinder, something I'm very familiar with. While we're here, I might as well just check my matches. Yeah, brilliant, great, still none. Anyway, let's get on with the quiz. Question number one, which app is this? Question number two, which app is this? Question number three, which app is this? Question number four, which app is this? And question number five, which app is this? Got all that? Let's do a recap. Is that a notification? Call me later, kiss kiss. It's from my mum. Anyway, let's do a quick recap. Which app is this? Which app is this? Which app is this? Which app is this? And finally, question five, which app is this? Perfect, are you ready for some answers? The answer to question number one was house party. Question number two, the answer was Deliveroo. Question number three, the answer, Hinge. Question number four, the answer was Duolingo. And question number five, the answer was of course, Monzo. That's all from me. Hope you did all right. I'll speak to you next time. Sorry, one second, I'm just getting a call. No, mum. No, yeah, I was doing a quiz. No, I haven't met anyone. What do you expect me to do? I'm not going to break. You know what? I'm not having this argument with you again. 
Hello again. I'm just here admiring the Northern Lights. Wow. Just takes your breath away, doesn't it? And that's the end of the quiz. I'm going to recap the answers for you now. Get ready. Here they come. The answers to round one were question one, Barack Obama, Owen Wilson, Simon Cowell. Question two, Victoria Beckham, Oprah Winfrey, Angelina Jolie. Question three, 50 Cent, Tom Cruise, Snoop Dogg. Question four, Adele, Meryl Streep, Carrie Fisher. Question five, Bono, Willem Dafoe, Will Smith. And the answers to round two were, question one, only fools and horses. Question two, Holly Oaks. Question three, King of the Hill. Question four, one foot in the grave. Question five, last of the summer wine. And the answers to round three. Question one, the screen. Question two, Mona Lisa. Question three, the girl with a pearl earring. Question four, American Gothic. Question five, the son of man. Round four, and the answers were, question one, fork handles the two Ronnies. Question two, the dead parrot sketch, Monty Python. Question three, old Greg, the mighty Boosh. Question four, hello Dave, the League of Gentlemen. Question five, car focus group, I think you should leave. Round five, and the answers were, question one, maximum break. Question two, 50 points. Question three, six points. Question four, three points. Question five, three points again. Round six, and the answer to question one was house party. The answer to question two was hinge. Question three, the answer was deliveroo. Question four, the answer was duolingo. And question five, the answer, was Monzo. And now it's time for the all important bonus question. But remember, you have to get it exactly right in order to get the 10 points. Here it is. According to the club's website, what is the exact capacity of Sunderland's Stadium of Light? And while you think about that, here's a bit of Ross Kemp looking serious and then walking away. Thank you, Ross, and your time is up. Without further ado, here is the answer. The Stadium of Light's capacity is 48,707. Congratulations if you got that right. Commiserations if you didn't. And that's all from the pub quiz this week. Mm -hmm.